G'day everyone, Raid Zero are you, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 7. This is episode number 5, and so we, where we left off last time, and um, nothing in there that I can get to. Checked out all these things, I've stored a few things in here. So it's these dog's heads that we're after, so we've got the blue one, I'm assuming there's like a red one and, a, and various other things. Whoops, don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's get going. So, the night in there mentioned the basement. So I'm assuming this is it down here, with it's flickering light. Do I really want to go in here? Uh, answer to that is no, but I guess it's, oh, really? It's not pleasant. Ah. There's too many bullets there. It looks like it takes three to kill them. running out of bullets. Oh, we got strong chem fluid. Got in here. Surely something in here. Give me something. Anything down here? Alright. What's that? Lucas, I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. I've locked him up in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with this girl. Three A's and a handprint. Okay. Well, first of all... Let's combine that with that. That will give us another. Some different ammo. Powder. Tamara, Sean, Sean of the Dead, William. Oh, I'm just bloody handprint, Lara. Rabbis, it's locked. and a handprint. Okay, so let's just shut these up. Three A's and a handprint. Only one name has three A's in it, and that's Tamara. And one of them's got a handprint. Okay, cool. Now, do I want this open? Ah, probably not. Oh. 
supposed to do. What am I supposed to do with the, with the uh, leg? Losing your leg. If you get a leg, you can't put it back on quickly or you die from blood loss. Alright. Miz, I don't have any healing. Alright, let's see if we can. Okay, so we can't go that way. Around here, no. and we know that we're going to get attacked here. What's better? go in here but we won't open that thing at the moment. Wasted a shot there. But it's still better than last time. Uh, keep the chem fluid on us for the moment. We know there's nothing in there, but we do know how to open that, and we know that at that point he's going to come flying now. All right, let's just workshop. What? here. Processing area map. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. What's that noise? Let's get the knife out. Handgun, handgun ammo. Good. Twenty one. Where's that guy? Uh, okay. Well, that just leads out it's back to Scorpion key. Nice. I know where we can use that. Treasure photo. Lock pick. All useful stuff. Him fluid. Nice. Nice. All right. Hey. Well, I 
reckon we found the scorpion key. So I reckon what we want to do is we want to head back up and we want to use it on those. Remember the rooms, if you remember there's some rooms upstairs. You'll be careful because Mr. Watts' face is still uh, walking around the place. Okay, the scorpion. Game's room, this one. Alright, let's see what's in the air. False teeth. Tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. The next time one of our guests runs away, hide the dog, hide the dog head release so they can't get out of the house. Let's hide them like this. Living room grandfather clock. Book in the recreation room. The dissection room in the basement. Okay. Hang up, ammo. Chem fluids. Dear Mrs. Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I've finished examining your x rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus like structures that seem to be related to mold. The hallucinations and, the no and noises you said you've been hearing may be related to these growths. If your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. I don't mean to scare you, but I'm seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. Crawford Lang, Dolby General Hospital. Okay. Shotgun shells. Take those. Here. Nothing. Sliding around down the bottom here. No. Oh, what's that? Broken shotgun. Don't have enough space. Um, treasure photo. Let's have a look at it. Alright, so it's a. Okay. Get rid of that. Yep. 
There do I have room? No, I don't have enough room still. Uh, um, what's that? Just normal chem fluid. Alright, let's combine that with some of that. Combine that with some of that. And now, we'll pick, the, pick that up. Did you? Oh, you did too. Shit. Get out of here. Ow. Oh, come on, how many shots? Get up, are we? Oh, for God's sake. Alright. I don't really want to combine that with something else, but... Um... No, well, let's see if we can get back to our, um... Get back to our box. Alright, so what we can do is we can chuck some stuff in here. Uh, that over there. Alright, that should give us enough room. We do need that clock pendulum. That's going to be for the grandfather clock and probably for the one for the dog's head in the um, in the living room. Let's save our game. All right, let's see if we can get this shotgun. I didn't really ask you to do that, but I guess. Oh, of course you're back, oh, aren't you? I'm still here. <sighs> Using way too many bullets on this guy. is the broken shotgun. There we go. I've only got four. Right, I'm 
we'll save our game again now that we've got this. Okay. So let's take the pendulum and see if we can't get to. So it's in the living room. White dog's head. Good. We'll go and store that in our box. Okay. So we've got the blue one and we've got the white one. there together so we've got the white and the blue so we just need one and that's in the dissection room which I'm sure is downstairs This is where we've explored so far. We've opened that one. And this is the dissection room. To get there, we're going to have to come down around here through the morgue. Okay. Now on the first floor, let's see. Where have we got the supplies? What's the legend mean? What's that locked? Find a snake key as well. Yeah, so we haven't got into the kids' bedroom or anything like that yet. Okay. All right. Where are we going to go? We haven't got many bullets left. through to I don't remember how we so this one no. you just know he's gonna come that's 
way. It's where the light was, isn't it? It's over here. It's this one. Yep. All right, let's get back through here. have a lockpick now so we can more shotgun shells that comes in very useful very very useful I'm just gonna save the shotgun shells for a little bit because I just have this horrible feeling that something's gonna be coming up that we need it for through there. That's right. I could have gone through that way. Forgot about that. Forgot we unlocked the door. And that's where we need to go down to the dissection. Alright. So we've made it back to here. Alright. Alright. So. I think we're going to call the video here guys. So we've uh, found the scorpion key, unlocked the room, got ourselves the shotgun. Managed to also get the uh, second dog's head. So we just need the one more dog's head, which is down in the dissection room. So next episode, I think what we'll be doing is we'll be heading down here. We'll be trying to work out our way through to the dissection room, see if we can't get this other dog's head. If we can get that, then we can get to the yard. So, hopefully. A little more about relief. Yeah, living room, grandfather clock, book in the recreation room. And the dissection room. So, all right. Hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.